Thanks, Summer is in full swing and the fall fishing season will be soon upon us. That means we're seeing a lot more towing trailers on the road. Joining us now is attorney Chris Jacobs from Calphus and Knackman to review what you need to know before you hitch your trailer to keep you as safe as well as fellow drivers. And it's not just fishermen, it's going back to school, right Chris? Absolutely, going back to school. You might be renting a trailer for your mm -hmm. daughter or your son hitting college or going to pick up your child from college to enter the working world and come Or out. just moving from place to place, yes. uh, borrowing a trailer, whatever. There are a lot of rules to follow and I got to be honest, sometimes I feel a little sketchy driving behind somebody. What are some of the rules that people should follow? Well, first of all, if you're pulling the trailer, you have to know how to hook it up. Most people just really don't know how to hook a trailer up, such as crossing the chains underneath the hookup in case the trailer comes dislodged or inspect, doing a pre-trip inspection. Most people pull trailers once in, a, once in a while or once in a summer, once in a lifetime, and they really need to know the stopping distances and weight distributions as well. And it seems like uh, for the people that don't use their trailer very often, blowouts and tires, I mean, that seems to be fairly, fairly common. It happens a lot, and if you're just a regular driver next to a trailer, be cautious of such a thing that could happen. If the trailer blows out, it can come into your lane, know where you can get in and out, and if you're in a crash, make sure you copy down or note how the crash happened, the trailer and how it interacted on the road. And uh, like you said, most people might not understand how to, to, uh, to rig up a trailer. There are chains involved as well. I mean, there's a lot of different precautions. Chains today. are involved mm -hmm. and they're required in Virginia. You have to have safety chains and you're supposed to cross them underneath the trailer because if it comes dislodged, the tongue then goes down to the mm -hmm. roadway and causes even a, a worse accident that could happen rather than it gets caught on the chains and you come to a stop. I think everybody at some point has been behind a trailer that didn't have brake lights. Happens quite a bit. People Pretty common. Just, people just don't do their pre-trip checklist mm -hmm. and it doesn't have brake lights and trailers take longer to stop. And so you're not even noticing that trailer slowing down when it's a great distance away from you. Okay, so like I said, I don't like to drive behind people with trailers. What are some of the other rules of the road for like sharing the road with other people? Well, some of the rules of the road, if you're traveling slower, stay, stay in the right lane. Mm -hmm. So you have an out. You could pull over to the shoulder if you have a blowout or if you have a problem with the trailer or the lights are out, anything like that, or swaying. Keep your, understand your vehicle and how it tows a trailer. Higher speeds means more swaying from the trailer behind you. Right. And let's just say there is an accident with someone with a trailer or yourself. What do you need to know? Well, similar to tractor trailers, uh, regular trailers that are being towed could be a landscaping trailer, could be a business or corporation towing it. Take pictures. Pictures tell a thousand words. Take a picture of the license plate, any corporate markings on the side. Department of Transportation markings are very important too because it might be a DOT approved trailer. Uh, whether it's a boat, whether there's defects in the trailer, such as uh, bins or brakes in the trailer, that somebody just did a minor repair to get down the road. Great advice, Chris. Calphus and Knackman, you can contact uh, Chris or any other lawyer there at legalmatters.calphusknackman.com. Give them a call on the Hurt Line, 1-800-HURT-LINE, and download the Calphus and Knackman iPhone app. You never know when you'll need it. It would come in very handy if you were to get in an accident with someone with a trailer. Chris Jacobs, as always, thanks, man. Thanks for having me. Take care.